Welcome back to the Fuller Fanatic channel. This upload will cover a couple different subjects at once. First, this is my overall favorite release from 2020. And if you're unfamiliar with this model, it's the Riot Iron. And it embodies all the aspects I love in a folder. This is the tablet's version, which came in green micarta, accented with blued hardware, which were the only two issues for me personally. The micarta was unfinished, not waxed and polished, which seals the micarta. An unfinished micarta does have more of a textured feeling and fabric appearance, but it tends to get dirty and lose its original color very, very fast, becoming saturated with hand and knife oils, and usually becomes a dark chocolate brown. The titanium hardware, which I believe was done by tie connector, it wasn't high voltage, meaning it was that blue that when exposed to different elements starts to turn purple. So one of the pivot screws was half purple and none of the body screws color matched. Even the accent screw in the lock side stud was the furthest off in color with a turquoise type of look. For many people, the issue was the beautiful blind screw mounted insert that holds the micarta inlay into the show side frame. It wasn't matched on the lock side. But for me, this actually looks amazing and something new at a time when everyone else was building gaudy oversized cleavers. As for my second issue, this is a known characteristic of micarta, so it wasn't surprising or that big of a deal. And in most cases, consumers lean towards micarta for this very reason, and the fact each knife will age differently than the next. Personally, for me, if I buy a knife with a green inlay, I chose that color because I wanted to stay that color. And with that very thought in mind, I set out trying to figure out a staining process that will remain its color and not some dyed inlay that will fade away or get wet and be rubbed away. And after some time researching, then receiving different samples of micarta to do testing, I produced a three-step process for leaching or pulling all the color from the micarta, then staining and setting the new color, and then ending with a dual pass sealer, locking all the work underneath, adding a protective layer. And to prove this method not only works, but can be performed again and again on the same materials. This exact iron was blue over blue about two weeks ago. I actually anodized the clip spacer and show side blind mount tie insert and another nice touch done by Riot that I didn't even realize was the thumb studs are actually titanium. I had never seen this and they are softer than steel but they don't second and stop pin so that shouldn't be an issue but functionally maybe it's to keep the blades balanced seeing how they are more of full platforms with enough surface to be heavily gent. They could be very heavy in a steel format. Either way I anodized those suckers too. And even though I mixed the color very close, not too close to blend everything together and lose contrast and definition, but matching. But it was the off-putting colors of the hardware that always irritated me. And admittedly, neither issue affected functionality, but they did prevent me from wanting to carry the iron in that state. So I went back to the drawing board and came up with this color scheme, chili pepper over silverware. Removing the anode was definitely tedious work, but after the final pass, it came back looking pretty good. And the last point I want to touch on is the iron's initial action and break-in period. After keeping the iron put up and never carried for about two months. One day I started carrying it and I couldn't stop for about the next six months. And although it may seem insane, this folder took about nine months overall to truly break in. I can remember first receiving the iron and thinking it would be the ultimate fidget build if the blade just closed on its own weight. And being M390, it took a long period of time. And I believe this period can easily be affected by the blade still used. And although nine to 10 months seems like forever, it's worth the wait if this is the result, which also holds true with my Augustus. Although there was a major internal mill issue with this one, after getting into the build and correcting the problem, it wasn't too long before this action started to set in. And if you go back and look at my review on this knife, and I'll include both review links down below in the description. But on the Lambert's review, you will notice the blade starts to fall, then stops abruptly mid-travel. So in my experience with Riot and the M390 steel, to answer a lot of subscribers' questions, it took about nine months. But I believe there are many more variables, such as how often do you carry the knife, and then how often do you flick it. One person's pressure on a thumb flick can be different than the other person's, so that also plays a factor. So I just wanted to share this build and answer some questions about the coloring process on this micarta. And if you like the content, please share the video and comment down below. And please subscribe to the channel. And with that, I'll be signing off from the Fuller Fanatic.